Hello. Welcome to another... I don't know why I do that finger thing. Because I'm stupid, I think. Anyway, welcome to another listener mailbag. I am, as always, Steven. Today? Guess what? Yes. Yes. More comic books. Swear this will be over with soon. I'm not going to show off my whole collection. I'm just showing some of my favorites and how I store them. Um, as you can tell from the previous videos, I have shown my comments. They're usually either bagged and boarded, or I just have them loose, and in long boxes and short boxes. And, uh, I think that's how a majority of people do it. Uh... If I had more bags and boards, I'd probably keep them all there in bags and boards, regardless of condition. But, it's mostly like a series I want to read, or the comics I like the best, which I keep bagged and boarded, or ones I've been looking for. And, uh, so that's how I keep my comic book collection. Uh, there's other parts. I consider it part of my comic collection, even though they're not actual comics, but they're from, they're comic related, which some of them I plan on getting framed, I just haven't yet. Others I have not, and I can't remember if I showed these, but this is, uh, from my collection. And it's drawn by Shono. I can't remember who the actual, what the guy's real name is. But this is part of my Xenoscope stuff. And it's a picture of my favorite uh, character, Robin. This is an amazing piece. Fucking awesome. I love it. And... You can see he used blue pencil to start it out underneath. You can see where he drew it in lead. Love it. Anyway, the other thing I'm going to show you today is this is a set that I've been looking for forever. Uh, my sister ended up finding it for me and she took and uh, bought me the series, and I got it for, her. I can't remember if she gave it to me for Christmas or my birthday one year, but I got them. They're bagged and boarded, and you'll see in the holders that I have them in, which I have to clean, they've been in totes, so they're a little dusty and stuff, but I have to clean the lenses and stuff but uh and when i lift it because the frame isn't the actual size the comic slides a little bit but this uh there used to be a tv show it's called chuck with zachary levi yvonne strahovski and adam baldwin amazing show amazing it ran for five seasons probably I loved all the seasons. Season 3 has my favorite episode. Uh, it's the one where Chuck finally tells his friend Morgan that he's the Intersight. It also has, it's also the season where Chuck and Sarah finally come together and do a relationship. But uh, they had a small mini series. Uh, Taken and done through Wildstorm comics. And I had been looking for these everywhere. And I finally got them. I, I told you, some of them are a little crooked. I gotta fix them. But they've been packed away. So I got. I'll get it fixed eventually. But these I keep because. Uh. I 
I'm either going to get mint copies and then display them like this eventually or just keep these maybe find a frame that's a little bit better suiting I think these are 11 by 13 frames probably find a little bit smaller but I haven't decided or I'll figure out a way to get it so it stays in the middle whether it be some double sided tape to keep it in the middle or what I don't know but this is issue one I've actually read these when I first got them I read them but uh not the artwork's okay uh it's not some of my favorite artwork but I do enjoy it this is issue one this was in August of 2008 and uh if I remember correctly the series it either takes place before season one or in a little space between season one and season two uh can't remember but here's issue two now I know a lot of people they'll say you shouldn't keep them framed because um, well so, some people say like if you keep them out in the light they'll fade and stuff these are not in the light like because I don't want to fade and if they did fade you can find the set of six for relatively cheap so it wouldn't be a big loss um, but, you know, it's not something that I would do. I, I, uh, keep them, uh, well, right now they're in a tote, but, and I just unpacked them to show them, but, uh, Got where I was going. Uh, yeah, some people don't think you shouldn't put them in a frame, but they do make frames specifically meant for comics. But I think, uh, I think it's AC more that I seen them in, and they were a bit on the expensive side, and. Uh, I don't have the money right now to get them. Whether I will or not, I don't know, because these frames are doing okay. And I picked these frames up relatively cheap. Maybe eventually I'll change it. But great show. It's an okay comment but the show Woolworth going to see you should fucking it's not on Netflix anymore uh, I really don't know where you can stream it from uh, you can buy it on Vudu V U D U um, actually I think you can stream it on Amazon Prime still and that's the last one it's a series worth checking out. If you get a chance, I highly, highly recommend it. Um, but yeah, that's what I have to show today. And uh, next week's episode, I really don't know if we're still going to be in the comic books or I'll move on. Uh, I don't put a lot of thought into these until it's time to record and then I'm flying by the seat of my pants as you can tell because these videos get next to no views but um yeah until next time I'll see you later